From coast to coast and around the world, it's time to praise the Lord. on Praise the Lord from the vacation capital of the world, exciting Central Florida, as we bring you anointed pastors, evangelists, teachers, authors, and other special guests with testimonies and teachings and music to glorify God as we lift up Jesus Christ as Lord. Welcome again to this very special Praise the Lord. I'm Angela Court McKenzie, your host, and on behalf of Miss Jan and Matt and Lori Crouch, the TBN family, we welcome you to this half hour just for praise and worship. I tell you, there's nothing like the sounds of worship. It changes the atmosphere, it lifts heavy burdens because where the presence of the Lord is, there's liberty. So come and sing along with me. We're going to do some great old hymns of the church and maybe some new stuff and just listen for what the Spirit would speak to us in our worship. God is here. He is with us today. So let's praise Him and enter into His presence. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood righteousness I dare not trust the sweetest
entitled on Craig Crouch's song. So if you know it, sing with me. To God be the glory. Come on. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be, be the glory, friends, for the What a great message. What a great truth. With his blood, the precious blood of the new covenant, he has saved us. You can have assurance, Christian, that your name is written in the book of life. It is a unique, a unique point in the Christian faith. It's the only faith, really, that gives its followers assurance of life with God after this life in eternity. In the other faiths, it usually works. You have to do more good works than bad works and hope that when you die, the balance tips in your scale. Oh, what a heavy burden of uncertainty to live under. It's that. Any of our Muslim friends would attest to that. People say that every religion is the same, but it's not. For so many reasons. One of the main ones is the assurance of salvation. And we have this promise, 1 John says, that if we confess our sins, he is faithful, he is just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all righteousness. And once we're cleansed and born again, then we go to what James chapter 1 says, where uh, uh, James is speaking and he says, if you have faith, show me your works. And I have works and that proves my faith. So we don't have works to grant salvation we have good works because it comes out of our salvation so be encouraged today that if you have called upon the name of the lord that if you have put your trust in jesus you have asked him to forgive you of your sin you've done a total reorientation of your life back to god back to truth and have humbled ourselves and received his blood your name is written in the book of life. 
And one day, which we will all die, where will you go? This life is preparation for life eternal. So, Christian, you're ready, no matter what. You have God's hope, his power, his name, his anointing, his sovereignty, his grace, his purpose, his plan for you in this life. And then in the life to come, we will be with him forevermore. Hallelujah. And if not, if what I'm saying is not ringing a bell with you, today is the day of salvation. My dear friend, to go to heaven, you must be born again. What does it mean, Angela, to be born again? You acknowledge that Jesus Christ is the only way to God. You acknowledge that he died on a cross and three days later was resurrected, not resuscitated, resurrected from the dead. And he lives forever. And you accept his penalty on the cross as payment for your salvation. You say, how can one man pay for the sin of all the world? Well, the main thing is that God, the Father, has valued and put the enough value on the sacrifice of Jesus to pay for the price. It may not make earthly sense. It may not add up. But the main thing is that it has pleased the Father. So don't sit there and wonder about your eternity. Oh, my goodness. Receive the Lord Jesus now. Just as I am without one plea, but that, my God, you were shed for me, and at thy bidding come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come. Say this prayer after me if you're ready to commit your life to Christ. No pressure. But don't let this moment pass you by if you feel God speaking to you. Dear Lord Jesus, say this. I'm a sinner. And I cannot save myself. Father God, yep, you have to say it, my friend. Come and say it with me. Come on. Father God, forgive me and cleanse me. I receive Jesus Christ this moment as my Lord and Savior. Instead of just seeing him as that one on the crucifix or on someone's cross around their neck, he's going to be the Savior of my heart. Change my life, Lord. I want to be born again. Fill me with the Holy Ghost. And thank you for the assurance that my name is written in the book of life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen. If you pray that prayer, congratulations and welcome to the family of God. When I was five years old, I was in a little vacation Bible school. Someone said the same little truth that I just shared with you. And as a young girl, I received Christ. I, I couldn't drive or vote or anything, but the truth of God can penetrate any heart that's ready to receive. But you don't have to just be a child to receive. It's when you hear the gospel, respond. The Bible tells us that when Jesus was hanging on the cross, there was a thief that was also hanging on the cross to his left. And he said, Lord, I'm a sinner. Have mercy on me. And Jesus said, today you'll be with me in paradise. If you're watching from the jails, if you're watching from the hospitals or hospice, and you're at the end of your life and you think it's too late, my friend, it's not too late. Today is the salvation. Today is the day of salvation for you. Receive Christ before you close your eyes for the final time when you go into eternity. The Lord loves you, and he has sent me 
to just invite you on his behalf. So come as you are and receive Jesus. Receive him. And I look forward to seeing you in heaven one day. Thank you, Lord. We have a number on the screen. If you want to talk to someone, call them. They'll be happy to help you. But welcome to the family of God. I'm so glad I'm a part of the family. Of his presence. 
Thank you again for joining us today. Hope something that you've heard, something we've sung, shared has been a blessing to you. Miss Jan and Matt Laurie have a heart for the gospel, and you have heard it. What is the gospel? It's a simple explanation of Jesus and God's plan for salvation. So if you prayed that prayer with me, or you know in your heart that you made a shift I want you to call the number let them pray with you and seal it and then this Sunday go to church go to church and get your Bible and get water baptized and come right into the family of God until next time we love you and you keep singing oh victory in Jesus my Savior forever This program has been brought to you through the prayers and contributions of our faithful partners throughout North America and the world.